about. We do that all the way down for all of the data points and here's the related Z's. And then I can do that for the, the Y's, same kind of thing. So the first one is gonna be one minus the mean this time for the Y is 3.67 divided by the standard D for the sample of the Y, 2.16 is gonna give us 1.23 about. We do that all the way down and then we can multiply the Z's together to see what the Z's together will be. 0.8 times the 1.23, we get the 0.99 about. Next one, of course, would be the uh, 0.27 times the 0.77, we get about 0.21 and so on. Then we just sum up the Z's to see what that'll be and that'll be the numerator is what it'll be. So if we do that, we're gonna say, let's format this to get the, the numerator, the sum of the Bs. It comes out to zero. If I add up all these column, it comes out to zero. And then if I say that the denominator is N minus one, denominator N minus one, N one, two, three, four, five, six, minus one, six minus one is five. So zero numerator, divided by five denominator gives us, of course, a correlation of zero, zero correlation. So, so that might be surprising. We might say, well, hey, hold on a second, no correlation here. If I look at those data sets, is that what we would really want to say? If we see these data points in real life, would we really want to say in our mind uh, that there's no correlation, right? And, and that's the problem of here because we probably want to say, it looks like there's something going on here, but then it got hit, it got messed up by that one, you know, data point. So we're going to say, all right, uh, if I was to calculate this in Excel, we can use the data analysis tool here. If you don't have the analysis tool pack, you can turn it on as we do in the Excel practice problem and it'll do the calculation for you. We would just select the data sets looking for the correlation and, and then we would select the range. I would put labels, place it somewhere, and then Excel will give us this one. And here's the X and the Y. We're looking at that zero. It gives us the zero correlation. This is a static uh, thing here. It's not dynamic. It will not move uh, as we change an Excel worksheet, but it's great to give a preliminary look or a double check. Now note that if I did that again, and of course, if I eliminated the last data point, if I did the correlation for just this down to this data point, eliminating the last one, we would have a perfect correlation, of course. It would be one perfectly correlated. So, so clearly, if we were to look at those two data sets, we might come to the conclusion that getting a zero correlation might not be exactly right. We might want to do some more digging in it. If we were to plot this out, we can see the data points here, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, looks like there's a positive uh, correlation between them. But then you've got this uh, zero seven up top, which of course skewed our correlation calculation to zero. But looking at it pictorially, does, does this line that represents the, uh, the, the trend line being exactly straight, zero correlation, is that what we really want to say about this data where one, two, three, four, five data points are in perfect alignment together? Probably not. So this is just a point that no matter, no matter what tool we're using, uh, if, we just, if we just plug this thing into the, into the computer using say the data analysis and I get one or I get zero and I say it's, it's totally not correlated at all, that might not, be, that's not the only angle we would want to look at, just like all of statistics. We don't want to look at it from just one angle, typically. We would want to then plot it out and say, huh, well, maybe that seems kind of funny. Maybe there's something else going on here. I'd want to drill down into it possibly further than that. And obviously, you could see that pictorially. You can also see it if you do the math over here, you would, and just look at the data sets and start looking at the z-scores, it's likely that you might pick up some more information that would that give you some more insights as you as you go through the correlation calculation